Buhari's order, Vice President asked to resign. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Following President Muhammad Buhari's order asking all his ministers vying for political positions in the forthcoming general election to resign, a popular Nigerian activist and 2023 presidential aspirant, Omayele Somari has asked the Vice President Yemi Usibanjo to also resign, Daily Put report. In a tweet, Somari said, Usibanjo, who is also seeking the presidential ticket of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, should resign to allow for a level playing field for all aspirants. For all aspirants to allow for a level playing field for all aspirants. He asked, it is good that Muhammad Buhari had asked his ministers contesting elections to resign, but it is also fair, ethical, and I asked that Chief Prof Osibanjo must resign as well so that there is a level playing field for all aspirants. Well, on this particular matter, I don't think Sora is actually getting this right at all. It is only told, it was only told to those, or this affects only those who are appointed. If you are in elected, an elected position, you don't have anybody. So, Osebanjo automatically was elected alongside the president and so cannot be asked to resign. Ha. Now, wow. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Osebanjo should resign as well. Are you, are you really? <laughs> the VP is elected and not appointed. Whoa. So, Sorry is blind, is so blinded by hatred, not knowing the VP is an elected officer, not appointed. How bad? <laughs> Hey, then the shelle. See enemy of Osibanjo people. Whether you like it or not, by the grace of God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. And the end, the beginning and the end, and the one that can reverse the irreversible. He would turn things around. I don't know how he would do it, but it will make Osibanjo the president of this nation, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. More people are really, really vying for him. I always believe that this only person to be someone serious minded. It turned out that he's privileged, cheeky, and mischief maker. Sincerely, him coming out to say this does not speak good of him more. I keep saying, eh, if you cannot market yourself without the marketing another person, in fact, you're not even supposed to in any way mention the name of any aspirant. Oh, they don't understand this thing well. It's just as if you are trying to break into a market. Let's say, for instance, you have a, a soap you want to break. You want it to break into a market that is already saturated. What you do, number one, you're going to pick on whatever people's complaints have been about beating soap. Yes, you pick on them. Then you put it into your product. Then you start progress. You start, you know, marketing it. You progress towards marketing. And when marketing, just like you're marketing, let's say, for instance, you're marketing... Um, what's the name of the soap? Uh, Lux soap. You know, you're marketing Lux soap and then you're calling Eva, you're calling Ivy. Uncle, are you okay? Do you see them do that? They don't. You don't You don't give give them that limelight. You're coming out to steal the limelight. You're coming out to take the attention and make it, you know, your attention. Make all attention should be paid to you. So coming out and keep marketing another candidate, I mean, keep calling another candidate is not a wise thing to do at all. It's not. What Omayele Sorenly is asking for is not supported by law, but it's personal opinion born out of the text for Osibanjo's presidency. The law allows the incumbent president to remain in office to contest for second term and also applies the VP to remain to contest for the same post. Omayele Sorenly should stop heating up the system. <laughs> hey, my goodness. Hmm. Is Usibanjo appointed like the ministers? Where should he resign? He was elected together with the president, just like I was saying. 
Somebody is just making unnecessary noise. Why didn't Buhari resign when contesting for second term presidency? The reason is president, vice president, governor, deputy governor need not to resign before contesting for an election. Ditto for all elected officers. Ministers are not elected, they're appointed so they can be asked to resign. This is, I mean, it's actually clear. I think somebody just wants to, he just, he just I, I'm forced to say he wants to trend. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Weed is not good for everybody. Please, smoking is not good. For somebody asking the elected vice president to resign, why didn't he ask Buhari to resign in 2019 or vice president? Sambo to resign in 2014. Abio, my dear. Okay. I'm so I'm just so ashamed of you. So as a contested vice for presidential position, you don't know the difference between the elected and appointed public servants. So only you ask for it and they're going to give you back to back. A confirmation that someone is a dictator and them to Democrats. He's demarcating himself. I keep saying it. If you come out to market yourself you don't you don't call another aspirant you don't even mention their name you just go ahead and state you know how you are better off state what we are going to be getting alongside the package market yourself to us and at the end of the day the people will make their choice i keep saying it in fact the more you demarket a person you think you're demarketing that person but as long as you keep mentioning that person's name you're directing people to that person i noticed in nigeria when Something is being said about someone, someone, and mostly, most times when that thing is bad, you see people tending to, to go to that person's, to know, you know, that person start getting unnecessary attention. Then talk to this person bad, before you know it, Nigerians don't fool the person, if not, if not Facebook page, Nigerians don't fool the person Facebook page, if not IG page, the person don't, you know, that's just what I've, so you coming out to the market anybody, no, in fact, only if you can pay someone to demarket you. Yes, you're going to trend. To be sincerely, let it not be like, oh, they're just painting you bad, and this one, that one, and you're not bad. But I've noticed that um, in this our Nigeria here, if you really, really, you know, if you come out and you have somebody, something have something very bad to say about you. Before you know, you start trending. And trending is good for politics now. Yes. That's really, really good for politics. So, Omaya is someone, he just won't use this one for trouble. I'm sure he's very aware. He's just saying this maybe to drive traffic or maybe maybe to hear what people would tell him. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end.